In this presentation, we're going to look at how to construct gray code, or as it's also known, reflected binary code. Now, gray code is actually used in electronics as opposed to conventional binary uh, numbers, partly because it has a very specific property. Each successive number only changes by one bit. And if you think of, uh, about the actual mechanics of computer hardware, that's quite an important thing to do. It sort of reduces errors and stuff like that. So anyway, it's quite important that uh, particular uh, reason. So it's called. It's also called reflected binary code. So how do you write it? How do you construct it? Now it's it's uh, on the surface. It actually looks like it has the same uh, look as binary, conventional binary code. But it's very different. Well, not very very different. But like you would, the, the, the some of the rules that you would apply to conventional binary numbers don't apply. We're looking at the first two binary numbers here. So we have n equals 1, that's the number of bits. Okay, so the first two numbers there are 0 and 1. And uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to put in the decimals there beside it, but that, there's no point in that particular case. But what I'm going to do now is write out the first four numbers. So I need two bits, n equals 2. Now, what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to write out my numbers 0 and 1 as before but also underneath I'm going to write them again in a sort of reflected manner as to say as if to say I am going to write the 1 and the 0 okay now everything so it's essentially it's the mirror image now what I'm going to do is proceed everything above the line with the 0 I've messed some, no I haven't, and everything underneath the line with a 1, okay? So what I have here essentially is, this is in decimal, this is 0, in decimal that's 1, in uh, decimal that's 2, and in decimal that's 3. Now, each, success, it's each successive instance, okay, they only changes by one bit. So going from 0, 0 to 0, 1, uh, the second bit changes. Going from 0, 1 to 1, 1, the first bit changes. And going from 1, 1 to 1, 0, the second bit changes again. OK, so that's how you construct uh, uh, gray code. I'm going to do it again one more time. I'm going to scroll down here a bit. There we go. And what I'm going to do is actually go to n equals 2 bits. So n equals 3 bits. Okay, so what we're going to do is write out the first uh, eight um, binary uh, gray code numbers with, um, and uh, beyond that, they, it's the same uh, rule of thumb again. So what I'm going to do here is just going to scroll down here now, and I'm going to write out my numbers again. But I'm going to start from the bottom, or start from the bottom and work out. Let's see now. What, which, which is to say, I'm going to write one zero here. One one. So from this partition line, I'm working up. Zero one. And zero zero. And again, I'm going to proceed everything with zeros above that partition line, and ones underneath the partition line. Okay. So now we have four, five, six. Oops, six, getting ahead of myself there, and seven. Okay. And the gray code numbers sort of uh, continue on in that same sort of format. Uh, you can uh, do n equals four, get the uh, 16 bits, decimal zero to 15, and so on. But I think you get the idea there now that how, how does it get its name? How do you construct it? Now, another matter is how would you sort of uh, look at it and implicitly know that that would be let's say 2 or 3 or 5 or whatever uh, it doesn't the, the the sort of same rules of thumb that that, that uh, apply to uh, conventional uh, binary numbers don't apply to this uh, the so it's 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 there are a few sort of heuristics going around but uh, that for a lot of undergraduate courses you wouldn't use them you just have to know how to construct gray code numbers alright we'll leave it there